So this morning, well, I noticed it last night that my tire pressure was low and I'm like, you know, it's been cold. So I'm like, well, maybe it's the cold weather. So, you know, I go put air in my tire because I, I and I wasn't going to do it until this morning. But I said, you know what? Let me do it. It was late at night. Let me go to sheets. Let me do it. And let me just say about sheets, you know, they have, um, they have the free air. So if you ever need air, sheets is the place to go. So then this morning, I'm, you know, I don't go into work today until like four o'clock. So I'm like, well, I'm going to give my friend a ride to work. No problem. You know, I'm just like, I mean, I'm just planning my day away. Everything's just, you know, I'm like, I'm going to take them to work. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. I got my coffee, all this. Like, I, I mean, I got my books. I'm, I'm ready. Get in the car and my pressure light's on again. So I'm like, all right. So I go to Sheets. Yeah, I call my friend. I'm like, I think you're going to have to get a lift because this ain't going to work. So then I go to Sheets and I just happen to look at the tire. And I can see where something's in there. I could see that little part. It was just rolled the right way, you know. So I said, okay, I'm not even going to put air in it. I need to call uh, uh, Beatty. So Beatty Tire is where I've been going for years, dealing with my tires. Um, so probably about 16 years or so, maybe longer. Um, anyway, they patched it up. So it's, you know, the car is fine. Tire's fine. Um, and they've got about 10,000 miles left on them. But this is what they pulled out of my tire. Now, this. So this is, I don't know how many millimeters that is, but this is pretty thick. Um, this is like one of those screws that goes like in a bed frame. It's huge. Or in a bookcase or something. And... Um, I make this video not just to share this story or to plug anybody or <laughs> plug. They plugged my tire. <laughs> That's funny. No pun. I'm just, it's just, just funny to me. I'm not trying to plug anybody. You, you know, they plugged my tire, but yeah. Anyway, so the whole point is, um, one of the habits that I've, uh, that I've gotten over the years is if I'm walking along or if I'm, especially by by somewhere where I know cars are going to be parked or where park, cars are going to travel, if I see something like this, a nail, a screw, anything that could hurt somebody's car, I usually take it and I throw it in the garbage. Or this might not, this is like the, the not the greatest solution, but sometimes I'll throw it in the grass because I know most people aren't going to drive through the grass. All right. Um, but most of the time I throw it in the garbage. And so I just want to share that with you um, because I think that's something we all need to do um, because of stuff like this. Uh, we need to make sure that we look out for each other. It's, 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 a moral, it's a moral thing of looking out for each other. That's what it's about. Um, you know, even keep just keeping things clean too, because I mean that's also getting rid of clutter and all that other fun stuff, litter, um, if you will. Um, so if you see something like this, throw it in the garbage. Don't let somebody else just drive up on it. So all I'm saying, pick these things up. Don't let people run over them. Um, but if you do, as of right now. To plug a tire, Beatty only charges $25. So, so yeah, that's where I'm at today. And now we're back on track. And, yeah, that's, that's it. Back on track. So, everybody have a good day. Look out for each other. Be the best you can be. Love you all. Take care.